Hello, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to episode 11 of this Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4. This is the Kaiserreich mod, and we are the Empire of Brazil. Most of Chile has now fallen. Uh, it was actually owned by Peru, but we are pushing them back. Bolivia is proving to be a really tough nut to crack. Like La Paz being up in the mountains is really difficult to attack into, unfortunately. Peru seems to be going a little bit more easily, and most of the troops that we had like along this entire line are now surging north so we should be able to position our troops a little bit better than we had done previously meanwhile i have just remembered that we have a tank that's just waiting to be discovered in one day so let's go and do that as it is now going to be the proper tank coming to france declared we're on the italian federation interesting okay so we have the light tank we now want the light spg and if we check the production schedules for the light tanks, hover over this and we can see designed by Estrada de Ferro Central do Brasil. So that confirms that bringing the design company one day before this tank was actually due to be released did the job. Excellent. Okay. Um, you are really expensive though. I don't want to pay for you. So we're going to drop the number of factories we have working for you and add more for artillery and infantry weapons. So we are still short a little bit on imports. United States is still alive. And I think are actually pushing back the communists. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, the Civil War is not over. The Americans have more military factories now. Less civilian, but more military. That is really good. Okay. I was genuinely worried that the Syndicalists would win that one, and then we would have a potential threat to our own efforts here. Okay, all of you lot, attack him. Like, it's just sticking out. It's going to be easy fight. And then you lot. Can we assist in this assault? And actually win it? Alright, that's a counter-offensive. I don't know how you're still... Okay, you're withdrawing. Still standing there. That's fine. Alright, let's try another assault on here. There we go. Mass around. There's only one man there. I'm going to send... Half of you to assault him to make sure that he doesn't move somewhere else. Then hopefully we can take La Paz this time. I mean, he probably still has reinforcements. Although many of them seem to be up here, which is a big mistake. Are we finally going to be able to crush our way through La Paz? I really hope so. Can you push up? You can. Good. And the tanks will hopefully be able to hold that position. We have some more tanks coming in to reinforce. La Paz does indeed look like it's about to fall. Keep up the pressure, guys. This one's the important one. We need to keep the others off of our backs. Don't let them recover, not even for a minute. 98. There we go. Boom! La Paz has fallen. And they're on the verge of capitulation. I reckon they'll probably do it at midnight. Excellent. Okay, we'll let you recover for a bit and then we'll keep pushing forwards. Oh, there's another point there. There we go. Bolivia's gone. Fantastic. And there we go. Empire of Brazil took four states. Bolivia was annexed. Marvellous. So, what that effectively means is that you lot, you lucky, lucky lot, can hold that air area and also push towards Lima. Off you go. And now all of the pressure is going to be on Peru, which is what I was hoping for far far earlier and in fact we have some tanks in a very nice position right there which i'm going to try and drive through behind their front lines over here in fact speaking of front lines can you win that fight yes except for the infantry equipment our tanks are actually pretty well equipped and actually speaking of that what i could do is add more tanks 
which we have enough for. We'll give back some motorized, and we'll also give back some infantry equipment, most importantly. So if we did something like this, that is something we can indeed afford. I think that would make our divisions a lot stronger, and this gives us way more breakthrough, 150 more breakthrough, which is, after all, their main purpose. And we have some more, or well, a lot more, military factories. Cool. Um, let's increase quite dramatically the amount of artillery that I think we're also going to need to open up another line of infantry equipment. And this is indeed making us fall behind in terms of the amount of steel that we can bring in. I'm going to stop buying it from the Germans and buy it from the United States instead. Do that. So we're now using 14 factories and we are gaining 5. Definitely need to close our economy. So once we have all the tungsten, well we now have the tungsten, we might be able to start exporting that. Because that is often something that runs short. So if Italian Federation seems to actually be holding its own. Commune of France took out Bulgaria. 25,000 equipment. Bloody hell. Alright. And you. Let's stop your assault and get some positioning back. A couple of people were complaining about lack of supply, but I'm not seeing it. Breaking through here would be very nice. Establish the Angesa. And also we need to do some more research which I think is going to have to be excavation. Although I'd also really like to get better equipment. Let's get that first. And then here, a mechanized army. Reduction in head time penalty for towered rocket artillery and motorized. A head time penalty. I'm not even sure we're going to be ahead of time in any of that stuff. Seeing as we already get it. Okay, so what I'm waiting for is for your... Um, organization to recover, and we're going to try and punch through that. Popularity is rising! Yes, I will accept that one. I definitely consider us to be safe now, 91%. Yeah, fantastic. Okay. Your preparation bonuses are still growing. Ecuador is on the outskirts of Lima. Some of you are marching into other positions, which is actually good for us. As long as they're not abandoning this, or they're abandoning that area. Okay, so we need to punch through here if we can. We also need to start offensives in all of these locations. So there, oh wow, they are, they are basically done. They don't want to fight no more. All right, they're withdrawing already. Unfortunately, we're not pushing through there, which is irritating. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this. Because we actually want these two to finish later. <laughs> so we can take this one out and actually stack wipe them. Let's have you stopping them advancing to reinforce. Okay, we have some... Assistance over there. SP artillery, good. And then let's get medium tank one. Furthermore, I'd also quite like to start getting some SP artillery. Something like that, and then we can add some more. You're all assisting over there. We're actually punching through there. We're doing pretty well here, which makes me smile. By all means, begin the offensive, guys. By all means. If you can get across here, all the better. 
Let's make sure that one of you isn't able to reinforce. You're attacking into me. Okay, reinforcements are on their way. Good. Just keep on just pushing through. Good, 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 good. And there we go, cut off. Marvellous. The two tanks should be perfectly capable of dealing with that. There's the medium tank one. That was super quick. Um... I guess we'll go for the medium tank too. Although I think the light tanks are almost certainly going to be our main tool here. Right, we are really punching through. Half of you attack there if you... nope. Here? Yeah. Okay. How's our equipment? It's recovering slightly. We are producing way too much support equipment. Although we could add some support divisions, that's true. Do we have any that we can add? We can add recon. Easily. Let's do that. And also here. Recon. Okay, cool. And I think that we do need to reduce the amount of recon we're producing. Let's do that. And we need more steel. Russia. Kind of relying on Russia quite heavily here. Russian suppliers have just increased. Cool. We need more oil. Very well. Alright, we're getting six from trade now. Nowhere near as much as I would like, unfortunately. Alright, you tanks are now in the wrong place. <laughs> that is not our enemy right now. That's our enemy. Go and assist that. Okay. Pushes continue. Let's get a little bit of an assistance going in there. You guys can assist there. There we go. That goes green. Which is the colour I like to see. Then after this, I guess, Ecuador is next? Probably. Like, you've done well, Ecuador. But not well enough. Assembly line production. Cool. Still 42. Let's get more excavation. And then, do, 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 what was I going to do? Oh yeah, I was going to upgrade the tanks. So the light tank threes, more armor, more reliability. And a bigger gun. Max speed drops, but that's basically the same speed as the motorized. Big improvement to the armor. Decent improvement to their guns. Do it. And then these should be the Mark 1s. Okay, off you go. Marvelous. Still pushing our way through here. Can you assist in that assault? You can. Tanks are still on their way. Now supply is becoming an issue. So let's make sure that we develop a bit more supply. I think we are going to come through this bit. 
make sure it gets up to level six. I mean, ultimately, we'll probably want to develop most of this area, but right now, that's what needs doing. Okay. All right, you lot are pushing really quite nicely. You could definitely be assisting guys. You're pushing in through there. You can push in there. You guys are assisting there. Tanks are on their way in. The tanks with their breakthrough are going to be super helpful as well. You guys are getting a lot of experience very quickly as well, which I approve. Wow, Ecuador's unit strength is so low. Well supported though. Loads of support companies. We could and probably should be investing in that some more, especially hospitals actually. We have the motorized, we have the support equipment. We do not have the manpower. That is something which is constantly concerning. No, I do not want a non-aggression with you. I'm justifying on you, damn it. How are you holding out? Wow, you've pumped a lot of troops into this fight. If we were able to break through here, that would be super helpful. If we can push our way through here and take Lima before Ecuador does, that would also be really helpful. Wow, we're actually losing this fight now. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift you lot there. I'm going to have you guys attacking. So six of you. Um, you six. Moving there and then assist from the side. Oh, I see. Yeah, you need to be recovering. You're going north. I want to keep the pressure on here, but I also want to punch through this bit. Because that would allow me to isolate all of the troops that are fighting there. I don't want to fight them in the mountains elsewhere. This is just going to be a massive, drawn-out, prolonged, horrible offensive otherwise. Especially as our equipment is starting to really suffer. So let's start this offensive once more. Everyone's on the move. You guys are withdrawing. You're in full health. Hmm. Well, reinforcements did arrive, and you're going to hold them off pretty easily. I'm surprised by you guys, though. What the hell? Oh, man. <laughs> so once you've turned them into tiny little outposts that they become really difficult to conquer. What is Russia doing during all of this? Building up pretty dramatically. Mechanized army. Concept of a fully mechanized army has been gaining strength in military circles. We can, with some help from our engineers, take the first such steps. So our military can be up to date as possible. 50% research bonus for armor. The tank changed the Weltkrieg in the face of warfare irreversibly. We a we need a steady supply of homemade tanks if we want to not if we want to not be behind our if we want to not yeah if we want to not be behind our neighbors rivals. We need a steady supply of homemade tanks if we do not wish to fall behind our rivals, is probably how I would have phrased that. Okay, so we have got the 1940 stuff. We can now get the weapons 3, which I think would be super helpful. Let's get you. Kudor, are you even still fighting? You are. Okay, so we've broken through the lowlands. This is all mountains now. And this is going to be... Painful. So I think we need to stop these offensives. We just need to sit back, we need to recover, and then we need to hit them again. The fall of Chicago. The United States military has been pushing towards the Syndicate State's capital for a while now. 
Reports are now coming in of Chicago's capture by the U.S. troops. Is the end of the syndicalist experiment in the U.S.? Wow, they have collapsed. Are they out of manpower or something? No. The Confederates are, though. Sorry, the Unionists are. Um, how are you guys doing? I mean, this is the benefit of all these massive grinds that are going on over there. So their manpower can't be doing well. Alright, let's get this preparation bonus up. Let's get into the proper positions. And we're just going to hit them hard. Except probably with the tanks, because they're going to be rubbish. Um, we don't have an air force. Combat would combat aircraft would probably be quite nice about now. We are having to import a lot of stuff. I mean, we would only be gaining thirty-eight and twelve. But we're only exporting five now. Okay. Meanwhile, how's the rest of the world looking? Oh yes, of course, Japan. They are pushing in, but there are some cutoffs which are looking rather ugly. Is Qing fighting Germany? Oh, you're allied with Japan. I thought you declared war on Qing. Huh, okay. I misread that. In which case, these are not cutoffs. I wonder if Qing collapsed and then the Japanese got them on their side instead. They basically switch sides. Quite possible. You're ready. You're ready. Right, let's try this. And screw it with the tanks as well. We'll get the breakthroughs. Plus it gives them experience, plus we have a lot of tanks. <laughs> um, 17 days until the support weapons are done. I mean, we could get support weapons for, but I think we need to get the field hospitals, like, really badly. We should have got that a long time ago. That was a mistake on our part. Oh, so how big is the Peruvian Navy at this point? Seven ships to our nine. I'm going to say go ahead and search and destroy in the Peruvian coast. We'll give Mr. Padilha a little bit more experience and hopefully we'll be able to cut off supply uh, imports from Peru. Right, you lot are pushing successfully. Not so much in the other locations, though. So be it. Cut off. Cut off. Uh, actually, is that a cut off? It is, yes. I'm trying to see if it shows the straits anywhere. There would be a dark line like that. There are no such dark lines up here. There's one across here, but that's it. So yes, these two are cut off, so that's going to hurt them badly. Oh no, that's no longer cut off. And the American Union state. How are you not dead yet? <laughs> Seriously. Okay, successful push coming through here. Boom. And then their counterattack, but it's not going to mean much. Good stuff. Good stuff. There's the support weapons too. Let's go and make sure we get the field hospitals, which will take 10 days. Then once we got those, I think I'm going to get field hospitals too, and then we'll call it at that point. Ah, Navy of battle. We got our full concentration, they did not, and they're damaged, probably from the Ecuadorian fleet. Better commander though, sank the destroyer, they're now running. 
One destroyer down. Marvellous. And then everything else are red dots. Just wearing them down. Like, this is really bleeding our manpower at this stage. We were beating them two for one. Now they're doing more damage to us than we were to them. Another battle. My cruisers diving in. Their stuff running away. Two days. One day. Italy's about had it. By all, all intents and purposes. Alright, let's get Field Hospital 2s. It'll take rather longer to research that, but that's fine. And then we can add in Field Hospitals, because we're going to need them. And also a new. Although less necessary. But still, I'd like to try and conserve some manpower if we can. Actually, speaking of how elite they are, because they've been suffering losses and because their attack strength is so low, their experience is dropping too. Except for the tanks. The tanks is actually increasing. But we are short on every... Oh, crap. We're short on support equipment now. Well, bugger. It's not supply that's killing us, though. It's literally the enemy. Oh, we're pushing through here, though. Indonesia has capitulated to Thailand. Interesting. I didn't even realise Indonesia was at war with anyone. Oh, the Dutch were allied with German, really? No, just Indonesia. Hold on. Wilhelmina is in charge of the Netherlands, but Juliana is in charge of Indonesia. Isn't Juliana the daughter of Wilhelmina? I'm pretty sure she is. What has happened there? That's one hell of a familial split. It's like Prince Charles deciding he suddenly wanted to make Wales independent from Britain. Oh, submarines. Thankfully, we do have some destroyers to track those things. Engaging for another clash. Which I'm pretty sure my ships will have the advantage, seeing as we have two heavies and a battleship. They have no capital ships whatsoever. The light cruiser is taking a pounding. Wow. Bye-bye, light cruiser. And submarines. Doesn't look like the heavy cruiser is going to escape in time either. Oh, no, it did. Okay, uh, artillery modernization, I guess, because we are going towards the redouble military research efforts. Artillery is an extremely vital part of any modern military. Our models, outdated and overused, will certainly be no match for what the world has in store for us, hence the need for bigger, better guns. Marvellous. Alright, we should be punching through here shortly. And here. Minister supports his ideology. Alright. Counter-attack, but we're surviving. Oh no, they're failing the attack now. Throw in more men, quick. As long as we get this one, that puts us on the outskirts of Lima, and that makes me very happy. Anyway, with that, we will have to end this episode. So, thank you very much for watching. If you are enjoying this series so far, then please do hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, then do consider subscribing. And if you have any tips or advice for me, let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Aha, we broke through. Marvellous. Oh, they brought in some defenders. Next time! I'll see you then. Bye.